The artist I chose to do a research on, his name is Jeff Soto. He was born in 1975 in Fullerton, California. His mom was a stay-at-home mom and his dad was an offset printer and enjoyed being in the outdoors and doing taxidermy. So when he was little, he was encouraged to be creative, encouraged to be doing paintings and drawings and being in the outdoors. So that's where his love grew for the arts. In 1989, he found a book in the Riverside Downtown Library called Street Art. It was about illegal art in New York, and it had graffiti of the 70s. So that was when he started getting interested in graffiti. So after that, that's when he started doing the Soto Fish, which is a, a design that he does a lot in his, in his arts throughout the years. In high school was when he started experimenting with painting and photography, also ceramics to see kind of like what he liked to do. So when he graduated from high school in 1993, he decided to attend Riverside City College where he earned his associate's degree in arts, which was where he started experimenting with sculptures and graffiti, abstract paintings, and also computer designs. In 1999, he decided to transfer to Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. But during that same year, he got bored with art. He got bored with how graffiti art was at that time. So he decided to just take a break for 10 years. The following year, he and his friend decided to do a crew called Criminally Insane Artist. It was a graffiti crew, which attracted more people from his high school. After that, he started calling himself Soto Fish or Kilo and started to tag, started to do his graffiti all over the walls, everywhere. During that break, he started working on his art, trying to get it into uh, galleries to see his work, which eventually led to his first solo exhibit called Potato Stamp Dreams. And it opened in Los Angeles for a few days after September 11 attacks. This all happened in his last year in college. Some of the artists that Soto is inspired by is like Frida Kahlo, Andy Warhol, Van Gogh. And he liked um, watching a lot Star Wars, Robotech, MTV. He was also really into horror movies, scientific movies fantasy anything that got his mind going anything that looked really creative he has published two books one which is the potato stamp dreams and the other one is called storm clouds and it features a lot of his art throughout the years it's a it's just a collection of all his art that he does of murals He's talked about when he has a creative block, he has a fictional character called Tyler Durden that he talks to. And he says that that fictional character gets him to get out of that um, creative block because he says that once he finishes a gallery, then he's just mentally tired, physically tired. He says that he feels like he's abused and beaten. So all he wants to do is just get away from art, get away from everything, and just be home, be with his family, spend time with his cactus that he has a garden of. So he thinks he's going to take a long break, but he never really does. He eventually starts drawing again, starts painting again. He starts going back into his office and doing his work, trying to figure out what's going to be the next thing he does so that's when his character comes in and that character gets him out of that rut that he feels he's in at times and starts getting him to be creative again so he'll start going back to his office he'll be drawing whatever comes to mind and see what works what looks good and he'll be posting them there on his wall and trying to see what makes him get more creative what makes him be more interested in what he's gonna create what's his next gallery gonna be based on 
he says that when he was young and he would do his drawings he liked the fact that he can create a world that doesn't exist he would just imagine how his drawings would move and interact which is what he felt like it was more interesting it was what made him be more creative it made him be more imaginative be able to create whatever he wanted because that was his world he was creating that was what he loved doing that's what he enjoyed doing and being that his parents always pushed him to be creative it helped him a lot and being that his dad worked at a print shop his dad would always bring him brushes he says that he's used uh, Windsor, Windsor and Newton brushes for the longest time since he was young up till now he says that those are the only kinds of brushes that he likes to use because he knows how they work he knows how um, to use them properly and he thanks his dad that he would always be bringing him sets currently Jeff Soto is a uh, full-time professor at uh, Riverside City College and he teaches art classes and he's been there since 2016. At first he was just working there but not really in, in the art section of it. Most of his art contains um, acrylic paint, spray paints which is what he started with in the beginning doing all his graffitis and he still uses it a lot when he does all his murals and all of his paintings but for the most part a lot of his paintings are acrylic on wood or acrylic and spray paint, spray paint on wood he also tends to do like um different color variants on his art he'll have uh, one picture that he'll do and then he'll change the hues on it and make it look different and then he sometimes does like a special edition kind of uh, art which will have the same drawing as all the other drawings but this one will have a different paper sometimes he has like a rainbow holographic kind of paper or like a gold colored paper like this lucky cat poster he has the drawing, the first initial drawing that he does, his draft drawing, and then he'll from there play with the colors and see which ones he likes and and create different arts with different colors, which look really nice. He has published two books, one which is the Potato Stamp Dreams, and the other one is called Storm Clouds, and it features a lot of his art throughout the years. It's a it's just a collection of all his art that he does. Of murals and then we have another project he did called Soto Fish Project and it's an ongoing series of experiments that he's been using Epson Glisse printer and hand finishing with spray paint colored pencils paint markers and acrylic paints and these are the arts the the, the designs that he would do when he started this is where he got that Soto Fish from and that's what he used to call himself. So he continues to draw that throughout his whole career up till now. He's always had that same um, design on them. But obviously he changes them all the time. But that design is the one that he uses more than anything. In 2013 he did a painting called The Blue Whale. It was to help fund a mission to help educate the public on endangered species, trying to bring awareness to the ocean species. His art has been featured in a lot of top art magazines like Giant Robot or Art Prostitute or Lowdown Magazine. And he's also worked with really high impressive clients like Sony Music or Warner Brothers, uh, Disney, even Apple. And he's also done like, he's also done concert posters for like groups like Pearl Jam. They had um, an Australian tour in 2014 and he 
drew the the painting that he was going to do and then he scanned it and photoshopped the coloring to it and it was for a big day out in Sydney, Australia. He also creates these art pieces called scratch foam ink prints and right there I put a picture of how his stencil starts and the finishing product. One of the galleries he did, the first gallery he did actually, um, it was called Potato Stamp. And that exhibited 20 years of screen prints and 50 of his original inkings of paintings he has done. On some walls he had the original drawings of how his art started and then on other walls he had the finished product or the process he goes through to create his paintings all the steps he does also now he sells um, his artwork his uh, painting his printings uh, he's also sold books that have uh, murals he's done throughout the years or or the recent work he's had he also has um, pins that he's um, created. He has one that's called uh, a dad owl, which was an owl that his dad used to have as a patch on his clothes when he was younger. So now he created a pin out of it for like a for his dad, basically. And then he also has clothing that he has his artwork on. He has had solo exhibitions since 2001 in places like Germany, New York, California, London, Minnesota. He's also done lectures since 2004. A lot of them have been in California, which is where he resides. But he's also been to Texas, to Germany, to Hawaii, to Australia. He's just everywhere and he likes teaching his way of working, his way that he does his art. Soto is a painter, an illustrator, a muralist, an educator who has exhibited in galleries and museums around the world.